G'day and welcome to the Scrap Mechanic. Um, I've actually been just creating a new uh, wishbone truck with an adjustable suspension. I'll put it on number one. What we're looking at the front of my truck at the moment, I'll see if I can get it to trigger, you'll see the um, suspension pieces start um, jumping out of place and basically not doing the right thing. So let me switch the suspension back off, see if it tidies back up again. And what I was going to do is show you guys, there we go, the suspension is completely out of place there. Um, it's actually in the flat position, so at the back of my car, that one's actually got the repair in it. And you can see those two are misbehaving. So what is the cause? Um, the rod at the top has returned to inner position based on the suspension location. I'll flick the switch, you see the back one's run down and that's working fine, but the front is not. The difference is, I've actually got a bearing uh, connected to the controller, which is in synchronous with the uh, position. So what I'll do is I'll put the bearings, connect them to the controller quickly, and they're going to need to move the same amount. I've just got it on 15 degrees because it's easy right at the moment. 15 degrees. I don't know which one's which. Okay, this side's out of place because it's going in the wrong direction. Fix that up, and now the stance on the vehicle is correct. Um, so when it's down, the suspension is parallel to the inner piece and the suspension at the front is parallel as well. So I just thought uh, I'd put that out there as a quick fix for anyone who's playing around with adjustable um, uh, wishbone suspension. Uh, this one has a lot of other odd features in it that I like doing. Um, my bottom bar, if you have a look in here at the front there, is uh, actually has an extra curve in it and the actual steering bearings are right in top of the suspension. This is only functional in uh, survival, so it's only a valid survival um, layout, um, and it stops the wheels uh, under a lot of load from deforming inside the, um, the wishbones that some people see sometimes. So uh, that's my fix for it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video. Just a quick set of tips. I thought I'd better get one in there. We got um, the uh, dev log with the sticky tires coming up soon. So I thought I'd better get myself back in the scrap mechanic. And I thought I'd start with my own um, Explore vehicle and get this one going. And now I'll skin it up, make it look like a truck and all that sort of stuff. Um, see you guys on the next video.